My name is Roberto Osti, and I want to welcome you to my Patreon channel. With this first series of uh, videos, I will show you how to create a series of layer charts showing the anatomy of the human body, starting from the stereometric volumes, uh, a method that dates back to the 1500s, where the volumes of the body are reduced to basic geometric solids obtained using the maximum height, maximum uh, width, and maximum depth of um, or the various segments. This conceptualization uh, of the human figure um, reveals very clearly the proportional relationship of the human figure, meaning how the head, for example, relates proportionally to the rib cage or to the pelvis or to the uh, length of the um, uh, forearm and the arm. Um, the second layer, the second chart, shows um, how to draw a schematic skeleton. Um, this is a very useful, um, a very useful visualization of the skeleton um, to focus on its structural characteristics, uh, eliminating the, the visual noise created by the organic form of the skeleton, which is the third layer. So the third layer, in the third layer, the skeleton is rendered um, more realistically um, and um, focusing on all the various um, uh, organic characteristics of the of the body of the skeleton um, and uh, specifically the uh, skeletal landmarks. The skeletal landmarks um, will guide us to read the uh, for example, how the pelvis, pelvis is tilted by aligning these two bumps that are the anterior superior iliac spine, or will permit us to um, position this, the muscle, the, 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 the muscular uh, forms over the skeleton uh, in the right place. And clearly this is the fourth and final layer um, uh, where we will position over the skeleton all the superficial um, muscles. Uh, this drawing shows um, a synthesis of all the four layers, right? Starting from this, that is uh, the stereometric rendering of the volume of the body. Although here, the stereometric uh, volume are rendered a little bit more um, um, rounded, right? Inside the stereometric volumes, I position the, pel the skeleton, the, the structural skeleton, and over the skeleton, I position the external volumes, uh, the superficial volume of the muscle. And understanding this form will permit us to better appreciate the external forms of the human body that can be rendered uh, more, therefore, more three dimensionally. I hope you enjoyed this short presentation.